in. Got ya. <laughs> you are our major keys. Ooh. You are. <laughs> anyway, so this week's a wedding Wednesday. Boom. Boom. See that? <laughs> Why? Whoa! Why? <laughs> I got it again. So this week's Wedding Wednesday is all about how to choose your venue. And this time, we're going to try and make it more concise and precise. I don't know if we can do concise, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Yeah, so we'll absolutely. have more like, I'll try and say more. It's really hot in here. One second. <laughs> okay, so firstly, um, so maybe, how say what, what was we looking for? How did we start looking for a venue? What did we kind of want? I think that's some questions you need to ask yourself. So do you want an indoor wedding? Do you want an outdoor wedding? Do you want a venue that has views? Do you want a venue that, you know, you go inside and it's transformed outside, you wouldn't really think that it's that sort of venue and then you go inside and it's a whole mm. different vibe. And then budget, how much are you willing to spend <laughs> on your venue? That's and interesting. That's an interesting that's one. Interesting, yeah. Because um, when we first started out with the wedding planning, um, and we had Magali. I don't know yeah. why I didn't go to the first wedding planning meeting. I didn't go with you. I'm not yeah, sure why. Probably I was at work, work or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't go to the first meeting. So Carl went by himself, and so Magali basically had the brief of any budget, go like with whatever. So yeah. anyway, so she went and she found this venue, and uh, so we went to go view the venue, and it was an amazing venue. Yeah. Um, do you remember the? She can't was cool. actually no. So the first actual meeting, the one that you didn't come to, okay. was in the venue that I was gunning for first. What was the venue called? So it was know. the banqueting house or the banquet house. I had been doing some um, events there with a charity that I used to work with and it was just a very grand building. It's where the king used to have his banquets so you can imagine that like, the ceiling of it has just got just non-stop art throughout the whole of the decor. You know, it's just unreal, you know, and it's got lights on, on the sides. It just looks like Queen Elizabeth can't stay there And for obviously, too long, you know? my kind of, like, my kind of venue, what yeah. I had in mind was more modern, white, loads of white, and just loads of white. But obviously, because Carl had that king and queen theme, and I knew that he would have no input in the whole mm. wedding, I thought that was a good compromise. What do you mean to, no input in the Like, way? in terms of, like, colour, in terms of, like, oh, I yeah, basically agreed. choose yeah. everything. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, well, a good way of, like, you know, letting it be a bit equal is allowing you to choose what kind of venue you want. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. that's, how we kind of went. <laughs> that's how we kind of went for it. <laughs> but the venue that he chose, when I saw it, I was a bit like, oh, I, don't really, I didn't really love it. So when I saw it online... You know but what? he was set on it, and because he thought we could get a discount, he was completely yeah, that was because, it. It was good yeah. to get a discount, so he was completely set on that. Well, the reason why I don't think you bought it totally was because it was undergoing some refurbishment, yeah, and, and then outside had the scaffolding on it, yeah. And then Carl so, yeah, was basically yeah. saying as well that um, when everything's inside, I'm not do you know there's some people that can see something and envision everything in it and kind of change it around in their mind? I'm not that sort of person, so when he first showed me the venue, I was just a bit like. Mm. I don't know about that. With me, like I said, you have to decide, do you want an indoor, outdoor, what kind of wedding you wanted? And I knew, I didn't, I, knew, I always wanted an outdoor wedding, but Carl, another thing, Carl wanted to get married in London. So I knew that there wasn't that many venues that were gonna have an outdoor, beautiful, pretty space. So yeah. I was a bit like, okay, if that's not the case, how I, what I don't like about weddings, and this is just me, preferential, what I don't like about wedding is when, weddings is when, you know, you go from, you're in the, the venue and it's just like, it looks all, it basically just looks the same. You go from the church, most people go from a church to another venue and you're just sitting in that same room the whole time. And I was like, I want it to be a bit more of an experience. So for my guests, when you come in, there's one thing and then you go to another place and there's another thing. Yeah, and no, you, you go through to another thing and there's another thing. Cash is impossible to work with. you go to another thing and there's another thing. So she wanted Wonderland. She wanted to I borrow wanted it from Alice. Yeah. So I was like, I wanted people on stilts and I wanted I want it so much, even though that's not what happened in the end. <laughs> but I'm gonna create, a, I'm gonna create an event like that. So yeah. don't worry about that. Don't worry. <laughs> We're working on something, the Arctic experience, baby. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So obviously, um, when I told the wedding planner, she was like, okay. She kind of 
kind of understood but was a bit like so you want a um concert in your wedding because that's like ever how it was going in a circus <laughs> and the fun fair and like a like, game room like ooh. what's your budget what's your budget like, <laughs> what's your bu the b word <laughs> when it comes to planning a wedding budget the word that is a big thing but <laughs> while planning so i'd say especially in terms of like the venue and stuff like that one thing i'd say to you is like think about the biggest and the best of what you want and then try and find like ways to scale it down and mm -hmm. something that will fit what you want but within your budget does that make sense so i saw yandy's wedding wanted her level of flowers <laughs> then saw that her flowers cost two hundred thousand. i was like girl you got that <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't have that so i can have it you know what I mean? so we had to scale it down and as you go through planning especially if you have a wedding planner your wedding planner should be able to do that but if you don't have a wedding planner as you go through planning you'll see ways to scale things down yeah. and there'll be different videos about top tips on how to top tips on how to budget while you're um and plan what to do with it but yeah so i had that idea so he went to visit this place i think it's called number one i think it, it was is. called the number one but they have a different they have like different venues and this one is in is, is it houston not houston actually houston station it was by there or... i think it's right yeah. by houston station so when you if you google it and you want to see about it yeah. and this venue it was a very pretty venue and it's like in the middle of like almost a. it's like in the middle of like a junction or something yeah, it's but it's got like its own like surrounding gates and then you can have like fire at the front yeah. and there's like different levels and there was like a dungeon in it and i was yeah, like yeah, yeah we could create something we got people walking around on stilts and i like, said all these ideas but i don't had, know where she got the stilts i don't know from. so they had these big like pillars yeah like, and then was like but the dance howard but oh, what i like like i said is that the first floor had like a fake church in the back and yeah. I was like, yes, with stained glass windows. And I was like, yeah, yeah we get married here. Yeah. And then the second floor was more like drinks reception, white, beautiful. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah. had it going. It was popular. And then the third, popular. obviously, go downstairs and yeah. you dance. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I was like, this is it. See, that's I was, land. Look, I was convinced <laughs> that that was it. And then, but the only thing, obviously, my wedding planner, and this is what I'm saying about checking little things in your head. You might not have a wedding planner, but just think about things like the toilets. Sit, like you wouldn't maybe think about but the toilets in the venue um was like they had two toilets and just single toilets <coughs> so a wedding a caribbean wedding an african wedding an asian wedding them sort of weddings that you're gonna have um over 300 people <laughs> you can't just have two toilets do you yeah. know what i mean and then it was so like where would i get changed and yeah it kind of wasn't it was a bit like, uh, yeah, it weren't really working. I mean, obviously your bridal party, my bridal party was getting changed. Where would they get changed? And stuff like that. But it is a beautiful venue. And um, our wedding planner came back with the budget. And it was 89k or something like that. Yeah, something dark. 89. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. And that was like a kind of dry, higher venue. And then... Not with like, like that was a budget without cars, without every, without a wedding dress. And I was like, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Literally, I think I was like, oh no. And then girl, girl was like, what? Wait a minute. So he called Magalie and he was just like, and she was like, you told me no budget. So <laughs> that's what I was working with. And then I was a bit like, well, you know. The B word again, you see. Budget. Budget. So it's important. Budget, 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 budget. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, so when you're looking for a venue, a venue in London, you need to give yourself uh, an amount of time whether it be a year or something so you can check the venue out think about what date you want advance. book it in advance know how much you're spending yeah. know exactly what costs are going to be included in the venue whether that be are you going to go for a dry hire are you, yeah. or are you getting the venue with food are you so we was quite limited in the sense of venues because of our dates so we looked at different venues but a lot of the different venues didn't have our date or wouldn't have anything in july. july the 16th was a very popular date yeah for weddings, popular so, date yeah. for weddings so um we didn't look at that many venues to be honest because that like it was like it got down to the fact that gibson hall was our main option she showed yeah. me loads but i was just like nah 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 nah, nah. but then we went to gibson hall and i out of everything i kind of fell in love there's these huge chandeliers yeah. it was huge it's grand. 
it was so like inside Gibson Hall is huge like the actual main room yeah. and I was like yeah this is a ceilings are high, high. Yeah. and there was like I was like yeah there's lighting in there and I was just like and I, I, I kind of felt like yeah I could do something with it the only thing was the floor yeah you were on to that Ugh. floor <laughs> so <laughs> ugly it was so ugly what colour was it did it have some mustard like spirals in? and yeah. 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 And with me, like I said, I'm quite a plain sort of person. So Carl's re like more like he was fine with it, but I'm like, oh god, can't we have like clear carpets? And then like with Gibson Hall, there was a garden area. Yeah. There was um a, t a room and then a walkthrough room. I didn't even like the garden room that much, but on the day it looked beautiful. So my weather panel was kind of like Cass. I know you can't see it now because it was like a um the garden area Gibson Hall where you saw we got married is an actual. It's just a walk, you can walk through it. On a normal day, anyone can walk through. Yeah. It's just literally so uh, open gardens. Yeah, so yeah. I was a bit like, oh, how's that gonna work? It didn't look There's so pretty. There's a restaurant close There's by. There's a restaurant close yeah. by. I was like, I weren't really keen. I was like, oh, how, 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 how? But she was just like, it can work. And I, I knew that I wanted everything in one place. And especially because the city on the weekend Nobody goes there because the city is purely Monday yeah, to Friday. It's yeah. taking over. Like Gibson Hall. Um, what can I say about that venue? <gasps> Do you know what it is before we give them their slewing? Yeah, because they're gonna get their slewing. You see that there is there for a purpose. Yeah? <laughs> this is name and shame time. Name guys, and yeah? shame. But before we get to that, there's actually something that's quite special about how it all came together. Okay. It was <gasps> so. I had seen that building, so a couple of years back, I was doing a gospel twang of rap and I was going under the name Mr. Kamon and I literally, in one of my, um, uh, one of my lyrics in the song, I said, um, I want to pl place something, I want loads of cream, I want to live up in a place like gold is green and it was where it's like an affluent area where there's lots of lovely homes and I, I was like, I need some scenes that's gonna look kind of lavish mm. and cut a long story short exactly where we did scenes of the uh, video <laughs> was is Gibson where Hall. we got it's actually i couldn't Gibson actually Hall. believe it the gold is green i'm tired i'm smelling the ends kind of help to not a sore loser i'd be known for winning let me forget you this rap was cut the on. place where he was recording mm. the music video in mm. the time of his life where he was yeah and you know to then to, like it's just, it was just like God showing a whole 360 yeah. on life and on how he can take you from there to here. Yeah. Like you was outside that venue thinking, oh wow, what a beautiful venue. Yeah, yeah doing and then now to now us we're getting doing, married. Doing there. the deed there. Doing the deed. Come there. on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's working, baby. It's working. <laughs> it's working for me. <laughs> you hit me a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, the reason why I say thumbs down is because, yeah, it's because literally, like with Gibson Hall, like I can't, I can't pretend and act like they were really patient in terms of when my mum passed away. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they, um, but you should be. You sh no one can you prep for be. that. You know. You should be. Yeah, it's you true. You should be. Yeah, ha it happened. Our wedding planner did tell us to get um. Wedding, wedding insurance, we didn't listen because like human beings that we are Trust, you see how fellas go, trust your barber Trust, trust your wedding trust planner Trust your wedding planner, trust yeah? Trust your trust wedding planner Trust in your barber, <laughs> trust in your wedding planner So um, you see how they say wedding ins um, what, See when, like, when it comes to your wedding, that's another thing Get wedding insurance Yeah If you like, just get it It's not that expensive mm. And it will save you a lot of hassle Definitely. In terms of like, if anything, anything happens happen. on the day Like, yeah. any, like remember, it's just a day yeah. So any disaster, natural disaster Like yeah. whatever could happen So just get wedding insurance and pray <laughs> um, <laughs> What's it called? So, yeah, so they were really patient And like Carl said, they should be patient yeah, And I didn't really think about it like that But they should be And then it's kind of like We just started getting costs From left, right and centre So it'd be like VAT, oh we forgot to tell you about it There's this next hidden charge And then now the company had made a merger With, with another, another company, company. So, so now 
there's a new new thing going on but and at the end of the day for that too. we, we like, paid we've we've been told a certain amount yeah and then we have a contract which is yeah, a contract to be signed right. and then that is a cost that you've fixed when you're planning a wedding and you're already stressed and finances yeah. are already low yeah. to keep getting extra costs just thrown in out of nowhere and then it being like well you can't have the wedding on the day then so yeah. i was getting so angry like yeah. and then it'll be like imagine kitchen what was it a kitchen um some sort of kitchen fee so basically because you might leave the kitchen messy you have to pay two grand yeah and to use their fridge yeah, yeah, yeah. and then obviously deposits that you could get back but i'm just like you like you okay but after me you said that at the beginning you should have specified yeah. and after us giving you that two thousand whether or not we're getting it back that's a loss yeah does that make sense for them like yeah so it was just really really frustrating they're so strict on vendors you can only yeah. use their vendors so their food vendor, their DJ, their yeah. everything, their cake vendor. They like want you, them all in house. All in house. And obviously that means flowers. There is nothing that you can choose outdoor outside apart from your wedding dress. Like that's how it felt. And, that, and as a result of that, obviously naturally the prices go up. Yeah, because, because it's there. Obviously, you know you can call in a favour here or you can call in a favour there, yeah. but you can't call in that favour because it was all through them. So yeah. the wedding cost again was still skyrocketing. So again, if you're doing like with us we had short notice, so but check to see if your venue allows dry hire. You might have yeah. an auntie that can cook really well yeah. and she wants to do your whole wedding. She's ready to chef it. Yeah, then <laughs> you can do that. You can have that choice. And like us, our pasta has her own restaurant. Yeah. She's a caterer. We see. could have used her to do the catering for our wedding. But because of stuff like that, we couldn't. Um, in terms of cake, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like Even it, down to the photography and the videographer. They wanted you have to get certain um, insurance for insurance, that. Insurance, licensing, for that. yeah, and like it, was... it just. And then in order for us to get our DJ rough and tough, Why? we basically had to kind of be like, "Do you play Afro beats? <laughs> no, you don't. Do you play? <laughs> do you play R? Like, do, do you know this song?" And then the DJ probably was like, "No." So they was like, "You can bring in your DJ, but he has to have this insurance. You have to pay us five. Like, just." Yeah. Crazy, so they're like, money hungry. All they're money they are. That's basically they what it was. They they're are. so money hungry, yeah. and obviously, what is so frustrating is if we had known then, yeah, that our wedding was gonna go viral, and that they were gonna get so much business because of it, because um, someone knows someone that works there, and yeah. they were like, they called basically someone called for a wedding inquiry, and they was like, oh, is this because of the locked in wedding? And they were like, yeah, and they were like, yeah, we've had our phones have literally not stopped ringing since the locked in wedding. So Gibson Hall. We done that for you. Yeah, but you're bad people. But you're bad. You're bad people. You're bad people. You are bad people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna say it. <laughs> there you go. We're real. So you're bad people. But Gibson Hall, yeah. So guys, if you're gonna go with Gibson Hall, those are the challenges you're yeah, gonna face. Absolutely. And Just bear that in mind. Bear that in yeah. mind. And, but like I said, the wed the the wedding wasn't about the venue. It was about the people that were in the venue. So, so yeah, um, in terms of like venue and there's little things that you can buy a pass and just think about ways around it. Think about ways of how you can like hide this or hide that or make it look a bit better. Like with the garden area, um, there weren't really that many, like I wanted like loads of flowers and stuff and she got like two main centerpiece flowers and she was just like, I was like, yeah, but I want more. And she was like, Cass, trust me. They're gonna be in that. Just think about a ceremony. A ceremony is only about an hour long. Anything over that is long. Yeah. So you don't need to really worry about all of those things that you're thinking that you need because your guests won't remember it. <laughs> and neither will you. That's so, true. and like, that's what I'm saying. Be logical. There might be certain things that you definitely want, but be logical with certain things. So think about, okay, how can I make this look pretty, but yet still leave it on a budget? And I think that's one thing that Maggie done a lot. Uh, I'd have outlandish... Yeah outlandish ideas <laughs> but she still knew how to basically be like mm, guys i love that i love i can see where you're coming from but how are we gonna like she basically babied us yeah <laughs> a lot. always was like up yeah. let's and then she'd always give us like three options so say she was like i was like i want hydrain hydrain 
always that sort of flower. Like, Hydro, Jojo, gorgeous flowers. The name will be there. Yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, okay. And I went in on every single table and I wanted to like a certain, and then she'd be like, mm, okay. And then she'd show me a different, I can't remember the name of the flower, but a different flower and how it could look better and cheaper. Does that make sense? I think one of the main kind of deciders on what venue you're going to have is your capacity. Yeah. So you definitely have to get that kind of solid. There's a website, I think, called hitched.com. I think it's called that. If not, but I'll write in the description. This is not an ad, not PR. <laughs> I'm just letting you know yeah. that the websites that I looked at, that was very good. Um, I'm like I'm very indecisive. But one, I think a good way of like, seeing of like how you if you'd want a venue as well is like what people look people done with mine like obviously saw my wedding at that venue if you see a wedding and you really like you think it's a really nice wedding and it's pretty and it looks like kind of what you want have a look at where they have in their wedding venue what they've hashtag and then go and have a look at the venue um one thing Magli was like to me is that obviously view as many venues but don't do too many that you're like you can't really make a choice does that yeah, make sense yeah so agreed. even if you're going through on the internet look at venues that way shortlist it and maybe go and see five or six and if still you haven't got a venue out of that one then look again but don't just like book to see 20 venues because yeah, there's no way you're gonna, you're gonna stress you won't yourself even remember out. what how number one looked like by the time you're yeah 15, you're gonna stress so. yourself out yeah. and kind of have a list of things that you really want from the venue and then things that you're not you don't mind like wavering on so for us, I feel like dry hire is really important if you yeah. know that you're going to want outside caterers. And if you want to bring down the Bring down cost. the cost, dry yeah. hire. We couldn't bring down the cost. No. Yeah, like, we had to firm that. Our friends, <laughs> friends were in EJ's team. Um, team Sword You Well. Team Sword You Well, um, who have a YouTube channel as well. Um, where they had their wedding, I can't remember the venue, but I'll pull it below. Yeah. Beautiful venue. Beautiful. Beautiful venue. And they jazzed it up. Jazzed it up. Great lighting. Do. And the venue's not that expensive. And it's dry hire. So yeah. you can get it completely dry hired. Have your own caterers and everything else. Another thing. Stuff like fireworks. Um, I know people. Uh, I wanted fireworks. Yeah, you did. Most venues in the city won't allow fireworks. Yeah. So those are the things you need to take in like, consideration. That most venues in the city won't allow. And also with venues, um, how you're getting there yeah you know because and parking yes you have to also another thing which is really cheap and our wedding planner specializing in specializes in is a wedding abroad yeah going away going somewhere like morocco italy france and you could get a, we a wedding in morocco probably for fifteen thousand, um and bring over 200 people and have exactly what you want like madly was like there's weddings that you can have literally um, dance floors over like a swimming pool like stuff like that beautiful like that's where you can put in some real detail because you've got more money to spend so weddings on a budget and even now like even us we were supposed to so when we were supposed to get married last year the year before we got married did we get married this year yeah, we yeah, we've got get, this year. We're to get yeah, we put last, metal on our hands this year. We're supposed to get married year. last year. And um, so, but we didn't. And then we had a honeymoon. And our honeymoon was in um, Richard Branson's island, Mosquito Island. So he invited us over and it's the most beautiful place ever. And he's got another island called Necker Island. And then while we was there, he was like, do you know what, guys? Why don't you just get married here? Yeah. And they was going to, like, get me a white dress and... But because yeah. my dad, like obviously my, I just lost my mum and then my dad wouldn't be there and then my pastor who's very important to me wasn't going to be there, I was just a bit like... Yeah. And, I, and at it's the time... It's a very generous offer though, we love you love. We wow. love you so much. Love it was the be like, And now I just think I should have just done it and came here and had a party. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So like, in terms of, when you, w with a wedding, as much as right now you're probably thinking, yeah, I need to invite that person, this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, that person. Really and truly, you need to invite the people that are there for you. People that love you and appreciate you. Not like our wedding at times where I was walking around and someone would say, oh, lovely to meet you. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. <laughs> right. I don't want to meet you at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It was nice to meet you too. And yeah, just closing, probably just like we said, making sure budget. Yeah, the B word. That is yeah, too Yeah, but you know the budget. Yeah. Making sure it's a venue that's going to fit the amount of people that you're having. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Making sure Absolutely. it embodies what you want from your wedding. Yeah. So, like I said, we had one venue, but you may need a church. Yeah. And making sure that the church isn't 17 miles away from your reception venue because yeah, of people getting there and stuff like that. Yeah. Parking, making sure there's parking at your venue or you're going to have like a bus or something like that to take them to their venue. Wedding insurance. Making sure you've got wedding insurance. insurance. That is. Um, very important. Yeah. Um, understanding that you might not get everything that you want. Out but, of a venue. Out of a venue, yeah. but making sure there's your main things that you want in the mm. venue. In the venue. If you want to have outdoor things, making sure you can have it dry higher and mm. making sure you know all the costs, whether they be hidden costs, VAT, yeah. all of those things Absolutely. are included in the contract and you understand the contract. So Agreed. if you haven't got a wedding planner, getting someone to go through the contract with you so you <sighs> understand it. Um, and whatever you, could aff you can afford and after you'll be able to still be happy, still safe towards your future, or it be a home or anything like that. Remember, it's just one day of your life. A great day, but it's not the venue that's gonna make that a great day. It's the people that are in it, yeah, so. Yeah, you sound like some guru. Yeah, there we go. Just a halo. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Listen, let's sign out, man. Yeah, we love you guys. <laughs> Stay locked in Stay next locked week in. for Wedding yeah. Wednesday. Wedding Please, Wednesday. guys, I, we don't ever say this, but I see you watching. So we're not doing that thing. Wedding Wednesday. Come on. Okay, but please, guys, I see you watching and the views and everything, but subscribe. Yeah? <laughs> Guys, if you want us to carry on doing what we're doing, you gotta subscribe to the channel and stay not say la say la say locked in stay locked and in. be part of that notification gang. <laughs> be part of it. We see you. We look. We see you. We see you, baby. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>